Okay, so today's teaching point now is on probability. And probability means the likelihood of an event happening. So probability of an event is given as a decimal. And this decimal is between the numbers 0 and 1. If the probability of something is 0, you're saying it's virtually impossible to ever occur. But if you give your probability as a decimal close to 1, then you're saying, you know, there's a high certainty that it will occur. For example, an earthquake will happen some point very soon in California. A probability would be closer to 1. However, being struck by lightning is a probability that is nearly virtually impossible. So it would be closer to 0. Other examples. Being bitten by a shark is nearly impossible. It's not necessarily zero, because we know what happens. Have you guys been paying attention to the news? Someone actually died recently in a Orange County beach by a shark attack. So the probability isn't zero, but it's very close to zero. And then the certainty of, let's say, there being sunshine tomorrow is close to 100%. But who knows? There could be cloud coverage, maybe a thick marine layer. So that probability isn't necessarily exactly one, but it's very high and close to one. Okay? What's that, Devon? So that would mean like 99%? Yeah, yeah. In fact, that's what we're going to get to in a moment. 0% of a chance. Like, why don't we just get to it right now? Five. Yeah, right down here. This decimal that we're talking about that I highlight in green can be changed to a percent. So let's say something was, um, you know, 0.6 of a chance. If you look up at your chart, 0.6 is beyond that halfway point. So 60% chance is a pretty good chance it might happen. You can write it as a fraction over here in simplest form, or you can write it as a percent in the center, or you can see it on the left as a decimal. Well, friends, what we're going to do in this teaching point is actually how do we get that decimal to begin with? Okay, How do people, mathematicians, figure out what the likelihood is of an event. And you're going to use division to figure that out. You're going to divide the number of desired outcomes by the total number of outcomes. 